number three. to step it up a bit. And he has. Got a couple quick ones. There's a left hand by Blanco. That landed and then he moved over. There's something about coming out and scoring early in a round that vaults your confidence. The first two rounds, it was Blanco coming out and getting three points in 20 seconds and establishing a tone for the round. This time, it went the other way. Sutherland was able to get some. And two shots at the back of the head sends by Sutherland sends Blanco to the, the canvas. We have incision in ring B. Neither of those shots it's count, of course. Class, no, but they bothered him because for a second, Blanco went lefty. And he goes down again as Sutherland, a very powerful young man, pushes him to the ground. And now the warning. Seventeen nine, Blanco in round three, and I think his his dander's up a little bit after being thrown down. Yeah, this is a situation where. Your trainer would say to you, do something to retaliate without getting caught. <laughs> Just walk that fine line. That's three times now. There is no three push down rule in amateur <laughs> boxing. If, if, if I'm Alfonso Blanco, I'm a little hot around the collar now. I'm, I'm, Absolutely. I'm, I want to take this guy out. I want to spank him a little bit. He's got an eight point lead here. 20 seconds remaining here in round number three. He's been in control through most of this fight, except for about the first 20 seconds of round number three. But what he's done with this sense of tactical retreat in round three was he chopped a round off the clock, which is good. And he also energized Sutherland, who believes he can get to him now. Now it may be a question as we head into round number four of stamina. See how Sutherland came on a little stronger in, in round number three, but still only a 4-3 point differential there. And look at what one big round can do for you. 10-4 after the opening round, and that basically is the cushion that he is enjoying the lap of luxury on. Six points after one round, it's eight points now. And you watch this time and again, the top boxers always seem to manage to find that one demolition round where they get such a lopsided score that it dictates the bout. And the Venezuelan coach is imploring Blanco to keep on moving to your left and flick that jab out as much as you can, bam. You know, Blanco was impressing everybody in the first two rounds, and now for future considerations, he's gone from impressing everybody to scaring nobody. And that's what happens when you get into the retreat mode that he showed in round three. Sutherland missing with the right cross. You don't see it too often because the length of the bouts are too short for this to happen. But we are seeing a boxing equivalent of sitting on a lead. Being done by Blanco here. He is working the clock and trying to chew the time off. And he does not have that indomitable presence he did when he racked up that big lead. Well, in round one and round two, he was, he was a sprinter. And now he's become a, a distance man, just trying to go to distance here. And you can do that if you have the lead. Whether you can afford to do that as you move deeper into tournaments is another question. Well, his lead has been cut to seven, 19-12. 45 seconds remain for the dazzler, Darren Sutherland, to get the job done. Blanco comes up with a much needed point there.
Well, with yeah. amateur boxing, you really can have a successful play on the axiom. You can run and you can hide. <laughs> which is exactly what Alfonso Blanco has been able to do here with great effectiveness. And that's not a knock. That's, a, that's actually a compliment on his skill. Compliment on his skill, but the coach may take him aside after this and say, you know what? That's not going to win you a gold medal. Maybe if you do this in round four, when you know that you're up 10 points or something, but you went to that, you went to that too early. He went to it at the beginning of round three. He started playing the clock. So Alfonso Blanco from Venezuela wins fairly handily, 20 to 13, but you get the sense looking at his corner that he is glad this one is over. Yeah, and it, it may leave a bit of an unsatisfied taste. You get the win, but you like to get that big number at the end if you had to choose. So, you know what? We'll see if he learns and, and brings this into future bouts. Well, Darren Sutherland was born a fighter. He'll be back. We know that. He'll try to make it as a qualifier, one of the qualifying tournaments next year on the European continent. Alfonso Blanco from Venezuela, the winner on points, 20 to 13.